It has no emotion. <laughs> it's so like I know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do custom. Let's see what that's all about. Oh. Enter a prompt that describes who you are in the first couple sentences of where you start out. Example: You are a knight in the kingdom of Larian. You're hunting the evil dragon. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. You are. This is where your what your should this be about? Degree comes into play. Yeah, I know. Creative you are writing. A gay clown. A gay clown. Um, you are a greasy incel. You just came out of seeing the Joker movie. No. <laughs> uh, your your kind of mission in life is to uh get demonetized that's where this is going get all the waifus in that one mobile gotcha game that i don't play it sounds familiar all right here we go you're a greasy incel. You just came out of seeing the Joker movie. Your mission in life is to get all the waifus in that one mobile gacha game that I don't play. You have no real purpose. You're just here for the free... Puss? Is that what it says? It's five well, at least that's what you tell yourself. This turned into Joseph it, real quick. It didn't ask me what my name is. Is it uh, still loading? No, you didn't. I mean... It just didn't. Okay, um... You're just here for the free puss. Uh, go to the local anime convention. Wait, I'm I'm not going to the anime con. What, why? Because I don't like anime. But, no buts, I don't like it. Who are you Who's talking, talking to? You? Um, I'm just gonna make up names. Uh, Jack the incel tells Billy... Boy, but brain. Wait, Jack the incel forces Billy Butt Brain to go to Anime Con. It said Con, like it, yeah. it did it. Go to Anime Con. I'm going to that damn thing so things can happen. It's gonna be great. This game doesn't like you at all. I know. It doesn't want me to do what anything. What do you want to do? Okay, fine. Cool. We'll pick you up from the airport on Saturday night and take you to the anime convention. It starts on Sunday afternoon. Great. I'll be there then. Uh, flash forward to anime convention. Cosplay. Uh, uh, approach gate, but forgot tickets. Okay. You get your boarding pass and head to the gate. As soon as you enter the terminal, a tall man with glasses approaches you. He's wearing a red hoodie and has a long hair and has long hair that reaches his shoulders. Eight, one his eyes hair. are bloodshot and he looks tired. Ask man. Uh, hi. Why did he approach you? <laughs> Ask <him laughs> hi. Hey, what are you doing here? Just checking if any flights were delayed or canceled for me. Oh no, nothing like that happened. He walks away quickly and you start to walk towards the check-in counters. Suddenly he stops you. Uh, smack him Give with dome. my bobby pillow. Oh. Like he took it on the plane with him. He's holding it. <laughs> yeah. In his arms. Stop staring at my face. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just stop staring. <laughs> what? <gasps> You continue walking and suddenly you feel something hit your head. You turn around and see the man with you holding a gun in his hand. How okay, did, then what hit How did this you? turn into an airport shooting? This is disgusting. Let's just put no rush in. No, I'm going to stop him. Smack Stay gun out of his hands. Become national hero. This greasy incel is going to be a legend. Yeah. You shout and slap the gun out of his hands. The man turns around and runs off. You run after him, but he disappears into an alleyway, an alleyway inside the airport. You keep running until you reach the end of the street and you find yourself in front of a building. It's the anime convention. Let's see, forget. I should. That's have... clever writing. Yeah. So why was I about to get on the airplane? Or did I just get off? 
The next day you arrive at the convention center and you find a line of oh. people waiting to get inside. There is also a large sign saying in conceal. What? Above the entrance. In conceal? Okay. I don't understand. Sneak into backstage area. Backstage. Uh, uh, What's a convention like a celebrity that would be at an anime convention? I have no idea. Uh, go to the go to the kidnapped creator of uh Inuyasha. No Jojo Bazaar Adventure Uh what's his name? Araki? Dude, Araki. Is I'll just put Araki. Hirohiko Araki. Yeah, but people just call him by Araki. You sneak into the backstage area and you notice a door labeled a rocky room. You open the door and you find a room filled with toys and models of various things. A large poster of a young boy sits on one wall uh, and another poster shows a girl dressed in a school uniform. Um, um, a rocky room? There's a question. poster of a young boy <laughs> on one wall. I don't know where this story is going. <laughs> I know. Um... Question. No, wait. Call police on Iraqi. You sneak behind the owner of the room and you grab him by the collar and throw him against the wall. You pull out a knife and stab him several times in the chest. Disconnected. <laughs> okay, you didn't even go there. There's I something know. wrong with this game. <laughs> what happened? Oh. Oh, look, it's working again, I think. Scream, what have I done? And then blast self. <laughs> that sounds familiar. <laughs> I have a feeling. That, yeah, it's busy. I shouldn't have entered that probably. We're just loading in a random nonsense thing so we can load, go back to our actual file. Before it gives us the most amazing prompt, we have to continue it. But all I typed in was, I'm smelly, I go to Delhi. Well, you know what they say about the smell of success. It is. We have to. The no. smell of success. We, you forget what happened. You sneak by and out of the room. Okay, so I just stabbed a rocky creature. Well, you call police. That's the police in your little mind. All right, what was I going to do? Oh, do a drum solo. I don't think that's... A rocky's dome. <laughs> is he bald? No. I don't think so. It won't sound the same. Exactly, it's variety. You stand up and start playing a drum solo on a Rocky's dome. The crowd <laughs> goes wild, wild and you start getting applause. You continue playing and you even imagine manage to make some noise when you kick a Rocky's feet into the air. What is he just a doll for you to torture? <laughs> continue pummeling a rocky census in front of the crowd of millions of incels pyro effects blasting in air the flag was still there what you know like bombs Receive bursting. millions of dollars i know this kid's this is just a sick power fantasy i know <laughs> Uh, afterwards you leave the room and go outside where you meet a bunch of other fans. They all cheer you on and you get more cheers. Okay. You begin dancing and you have so much fun that you forgot about a Rocky. Oh, okay. So he's just bleeding to death. Call ambulance out of pity for a Rocky. We forgot about him. Then, uh, go have the sex with many fans. That's what his goal, remember? That's all he cared about in life. So I'm just trying to oh, yeah, stick with the character. You, you call the paramedics out of pity and they come to take a Rocky to the hospital. Mm -hmm. After they leave, you go back to having fun with the fans. You decide to give this whole thing and wait, <laughs> the Rocky incident. Okay. That's okay. That's nice. I appreciate it. This is my new band name. I scream as I drum solo ten fans to death. <laughs> He's gone mad with power. <laughs> then I sing a song called My Name Is, I'm which sorry. makes everyone happy. 
I'm sorry. Okay, so when I try to do something violent, it's not. Okay. Yeah, what the hell? Um. Uh, call Uber to take me home. And have banquet chicken finger <laughs> TV. Me need chicken nuggies. Flip flopper, chicken flip flop. <laughs> You call Uber and they tell you that you, you can take you home. You get home and you start taking care of your wounds. <laughs> you spend the rest of the evening with your friends and then you fall asleep. I guess you were injured in the process. Wake up to my house empty. Those fake friends stole everything. You wake up to your house empty. Those fake friends took everything. You try calling them again, but you get no answer. Oh. You think about how you should deal with this situation. Bring out the big guns. Uh, uh, pumped up kicks start blasting on the stereo. Starts blasting on your stereo system. System as you gear up to go take care of your former friends i just realized you're running this like it's like now it's second person um, the kick starts blasting the stereo system uh you get ready to kick their asses in the streets okay pull out gun i battle 10 friends no 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 I battle my friends ten on one. Your fists kid. only. You start kicking your friends in the face and punching them in the stomach. You start beating them with chairs and metal fists rods. Only. You finally beat one of them to death. <laughs> you finish up with the right chair through his brain. Through his brain. <laughs> Vince McMahon was passing by in a limo, sees me, makes me the next big WWE star. <laughs> wow, he just threw a metal chair right through his brain. It's disgusting. You go back to your hotel room and you hear Vince McMahon calling you. He says, ha ha ha, you're the next oh. big thing. I got a match for you today. It's, it's in Chicago. It's at the auditorium. It's on the <laughs> Five dollars. How did they know? This is okay. This is getting amazing. This AI is powerful. Like, of course, prepare it's flawed, for but... big match against the Undertaker. His final match. I'm gonna be the one to retire him. <laughs> retire. He should have said retire. Vince calls you's limousine yes. arrives and drives you to the auditorium. You enter the auditorium and you look around and see a huge ring made of the arena. <laughs> oh no. Alright. I walk towards the ring with my theme song blasting. Pumped up kicks. <laughs> up kicks. <laughs> this is so wrong. I shouldn't have put that in quotes. They're gonna think I'm saying that. Because that's what you say. Ooh, erasing a the Undertaker racist. is standing. The Undertaker is standing. Bash the Undertaker with a steel oh. chair. In his brain. I hope I don't kill the Undertaker. I think you're killing the AI. <laughs> and oh. with a ring and... Please, I just want to win match. This is the end, isn't it? I'm gonna win when the Undertaker, the Undertaker <laughs> is standing. I think you're you're having a. Uh, you need you. you do need sugar. Do a shooting star press onto the Undertaker's belly. dome. <laughs> oh, <laughs> belly. I think you're going into diabetic shock. I just need to put more wrestling I'm terms. I'm gonna win. <laughs> Undertaker's just standing there. You're fading out. <laughs> <laughs> a star press in the Undertaker's dome. A star press in the Undertaker. A star press into, into the, the dome. dome. A star press into the dome. A star <laughs> you're just killing me. <laughs> 
<laughs> another star press of the dome. Another <laughs> dome. <laughs> And the shooting star press is like this huge, amazing movie you'll see once in like a thousand matches. And I just keep hitting him with it over right in his and brain. Over. Oh. Your taker's brains are some mushed on the, the ring. ghost of Eddie Guerrero rises from the ring and says, Stop, he's already dead. Star press into the dough. Star <laughs> press into the dough. That's the commentators. The crowd screams. The announcer begins to the ring. The referee stands. It's not quite broken. It's it's, it's the like Undertaker. reverted to kindergarten vocabulary. Okay, this is it. Am I gonna win? <laughs> It didn't even <laughs> acknowledge Eddie Guerrero's ghost. I know. The Undertaker is pinned to the mat. Okay. Uh, uh, I w- referee count to three. I don't ref know. count to three. Come on. Come on. It's like a video game. You hit the wait. You hit the bell three ball. You slam the bell. The bell. <laughs> <laughs> you are now the new WWE champion. You go back, you go back to, to sleep. sleep. The end. You are now the new WWF champion. Wait. The lift. fact that it like, pulled it all back together. Yeah, like somehow in the end, lift championship belt into sky. Triumphantly scream in the victory. Arena explodes. Literally explodes. We'll find out. <sighs> Why is it the WWF? You lift <laughs> the WWF. <laughs> You lift the ton of butter there, triumphant the sky. Building. You shit. <laughs> would, he would be fired immediately. <laughs> I can't Go about backstage that. to Vince McMahon's office. He is angry. I say, I listen, you old man, now. me the new champ. You nothing. You vertex caveman. <laughs> WW fuck. <laughs> That's amazing. Like, it's like a clever kind of in a way. It combined it. Like, <sighs> I like it. Oh. You go back to bed, you dream <laughs> about being a baby? <laughs> Being a baby, and so like a man sings a lullaby and rocks me to sleep. You dream about being a baby <laughs> after all you've done, <laughs> after all I've accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> baby, you dream about being a baby. Okay, fine. I'm a, a baby. All right, that, that's it. This is it. It really wants me to just revert back to a baby. That's what that's what the game thinks incels do every night. Oh, whoops! That action caused the model to start looping. The end. All right, let's finish this final line. I chuck the WWF belt into Vince McMahon's dome. Okay. I thought you were going to continue. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's finish this final line. I chuck the WWF belt into Vince McMahon's dome. Oh, it's like stuck, I think. That's, that was good. I thought really good with that. The end. Quality. Oh my god. That was amazing. Beza, beza.